Check, check. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and entrances, and each one in his time plays many parts. Acting is behaving truthfully under imaginary circumstances. It is the ability to create reality and to consistently express that reality. Listening is reacting. Listening is being affected by what you hear. Listening is active. Acting is the art of speaking in a loud, clear voice in the avoidance of bumping into the furniture. I love acting. It is so much more real than life. You need three things in the theater. The play, the actors, and the audience. And each must give something. And most importantly, you must always remember to try not to blow it. What do you want? <laughs> Our purpose is to present the gospel of Jesus Christ through the medium of live theater, seeking always to be dedicated and wise stewards of our God-given talents and resources. My friends, let me ask you a question. If a man has a hundred sheep and one happens to wander away and is lost, would the shepherd not leave the 99 and go out into the hills and search for that one lost lamb? And when he finds it, would he not lay it upon his shoulders and rejoice over it, moreover than the many more that are safe within the fold? I tell you the truth. There is more rejoicing in heaven over one lost sinner who repents than over 99 religious leaders who don't think they need to repent. I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep. They hear my voice and come to me. I give to them eternal life, and they follow me, for they refuse to follow a stranger. God loves this world so much that he has given you his only son, and everyone who believes in me shall not come to destruction, but will have an abundant, eternal life. Welcome to Recycling Sound Theater where the Bible comes to life. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land. And Elimelech, a man of Bethlehem, went to Moab, he and his wife and their two sons. But Elimelech, the, son, the husband of Naomi, died and left her with her two sons. They both took Moabite wives. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other, Ruth. Oh, no, 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 it is terrible. <laughs> Naomi, I burnt the bread, now it's hard as stone. Orpah, my child, do not worry, it will be fine. I cannot bake bread without any leaven in it. It's flat and burnt. It is Passover. A little burnt bread will help us remember the suffering of my ancestors in Egypt. Ooh. That's burnt. <laughs> Girls, we must get started. Oh, has Malin left already? Yes, and he sends you his love. <laughs> They've been gone so much lately. Oh, work, work, work. Just like their father, but not as handsome. <laughs> Naomi! <laughs> Was Elimelech as romantic as Malin? In his own way. We didn't have much time for romance, but he knew how to treat a woman. Oh, I wish I could have met him. You must miss him, Mother. Yes. Of course. But I still have my boys, and now two wonderful daughters-in-law. <laughs> and maybe soon, grandchildren! <laughs> Mother! <laughs> oh, for too many years, I have prepared this meal myself. But now it is time for you to learn the traditions and the beauty of the Passover, so someday you can teach your children. But we must hurry with our preparations. We cannot let the sun set before we are finished. Oh, there's so much to remember. Oh, I'll teach you everything you need to learn. <laughs> a pinch of this, I see. a dash 
of that. Yes, mother. Preparing the Passover supper is a snap. With no leaven in the dough, it adheres to gravity. It won't rise a bit, as you will see. Remember the Passover story, how God took us all in hand. Freed us from slavery, led us through the Jordan into the promised land. <laughs> Here, girls, taste this. Oh, that's bitter. It's called maror. Oh, what? It represents when we were slaves to Pharaoh. I see. <laughs> uh, Ruth, cut these apples. Yes, mother. Orbat, chop those nuts. Yes, we need it to make set. Remember all the blessings the Passover supper reveals. The bitterness, the sorrow, the joy through the tears As God led us to the promised land All right, my daughters, do you have the maror? Yes, mother. Do you have the heroset? Yes, mother. Do you have the lamb? Yes, yes mother. mother. Very good, my daughters. Remember the Passover story It's all part of God's great plan to give us all a new beginning, praise Yahweh in His promise. And Killian. What? Tell us, Jacob. Akbar and his men. Oh, Lord God, no. Their bodies were found <laughs> along the roadside. Murdered. Their deaths will be avenged. They will be. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Yahweh, I have served you my whole life, and this is my reward. I will serve you no more. Naomi, do not call me Naomi. Call me Mara, for the Almighty has made my life bitter. In the night I had a dream, I was laughing with my children, holding hands while they took their first steps. We danced throughout the morning. Can't you see there's nothing left inside of me? Can't you see these dreams are all that's left for me? I'm hopeless. I'm hopelessly alone. Trying to just go on. I'm trying to just go on. In the night I had a dream. I was laughing with my children. Mary. He said to her, Do not fear, for you have found favor with God. 
Behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bear a son, and his name shall be called Jesus. Joseph! Joseph! Mary! Whoa! Hey, what brings you here this hour? You're, you're trembling. Are you all right? I don't know how to tell you. It's incredible. The Lord, he's blessed me beyond anything I could ever imagine. Bless the Lord, bless his name. Mary, it sounds wonderful, but I don't know what you're talking what about. What I'm about to tell you is true. It just happened. The Messiah, he has come. The Messiah is among us. Wait, you saw him how when? I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but he's within me. What did you just say? I'm carrying in my womb the Redeemer of Israel, Joseph. I'm pregnant! <laughs> You're pregnant? Oh, that is funny, but why are you no, coming to me? I'm not joking. Joseph, let me explain. All right. No, I know this sounds like madness, but I'm telling you the truth. It just happened. This very night, an angel, Gabriel himself, came and visited me. He said, I had found favor with God. He said, the Holy Spirit would come upon me, and by the power of God, I would conceive in my womb a son, but not just any son. This son is to be the child of God. His name is Jesus, and he will reign over the house of David forever and ever. <laughs> Joseph, you aren't saying anything. I, I'm trying to, how can this be? I know, that's exactly what I asked Gabriel. And he said that with God, all things are possible. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yes. It is, Mary. Just tell me the truth. Have you betrayed me? Have you broken your vows? What? I need you to be honest. I am being honest. How could you think that of me? Because I just heard you say you're having God's son. I am. Mary. You don't believe me. I believe that the Messiah will come. I pray for that, but you want me to believe that the conquering king, the mighty son of David, God's chosen deliverer, would choose you, a poor girl from Nazareth, for the birth of his son? Now, that is just hard to believe. You always have to have everything figured out before you believe. But faith is believing what you can't see and what you don't understand. I don't deserve the honor the Lord has given me. I am just a poor girl from Nazareth. But I do trust him, and I do love him, and it hurts. It hurts, Joseph, that you don't trust what he has said, and you don't trust me. Why, Joseph? Why? How do you expect me to trust? The scriptures, they clearly say the Messiah will be born in Bethlehem, not Nazareth. That alone is enough. I trust God's word, not someone's experience. How could you betray me like this? That's not like her. God becoming a baby? How could I believe a story like that? Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it, for their evil has come up before me. But Jonah rose to flee from the presence of the Lord. Mama, please! I really think we need to slow down. But we're getting close, I know it. I know, Jonah, he couldn't have gone far. He gets winded just getting dressed in the morning. We need to stop. We need a moment's rest. Right over here, this will be best. Please wait for us. Oh, my aching feet. The boy is fine, but I need to eat. That's for our Jonah. We have no time to spare. Where could he be? He, he could, could be, be anywhere. anywhere. Maybe he'll appear if we stop. Here. Now my boy Jonah, I have no doubt, like Father Moses, he went north 
to lead us out. I know my brother, a rock of jam. He is headed south to Jerusalem. A sip of wine would be fine. Jonah went north. No, he went south. He's headed east. Maybe it's west. I know for sure, oh yes, cause I know Jonah best. It's not a test. My grandson is clever. I bet this very hour he's in Samaria, the city of such power. One thing for sure, this is my guest. That way is water. He's not headed west. Oh, it's herring with lemon zest. Jonah went north. Oh, he went south! He's headed east! Maybe it's west! I know for sure, oh yes! Cause I know Jonah best! All we can do is guess! The sign says Nineveh! Not there for sure! Not my son Jonah, no one hates those people more! Okay, the Joppa! The other direction! Impossible! An absurd suggestion! Ladies! <laughs> Just wait a moment! This is not the time to fight. Now I would feel much better if I could have a little bite. Really? Jonah went north. No, he went south. He's headed east. Maybe it's west. I know for sure, oh yes, cause I know Jonah best. Jonah would give me bread. North, south, east, west, I But I'm hungry. So am I to find my precious baby boy. Oh, all right. And God said, make yourself an ark of gopher wood. For behold, I will bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh in which is the breath of life under heaven. Everything that is on the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you, as Noah did all that God commanded him. Twelve. Fifteen. Eighteen! Noah, what are you doing? Himuna! I think my morning meal will have to wait. What? Noah, are you feeling all right? Himuna, call the children. Boys, Ham, girls, girls, Shem, come quickly, girls. Jason! What is it? What is it? What is it? What what is it? Family! My family! My family! My very large family. Jehovah God has spoken to me. He spoke to you? How? I, I, I heard him with my ears. <laughs> but also in my heart. What did he say? He said, all of creation has rejected him. Mankind refuses to turn from his wicked ways. And now the long-suffering patience of the Lord has finally come to an end. And all living things must be destroyed. Oh, my Lord. How can this be? All living things will be destroyed? Yes. When will this happen? No, he did not tell me when. But judgment will be poured out with a flood. A flood? What do you mean? Water will cover the earth. It will rain down from the sky. That's never happened before. This world is ending. We will see many things we've never seen before. I just can't believe this. I thought we'd all have children and grow old together. I can't believe our lives will end this way. Hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> My family, our lives will not end this way. No, 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 no. the Lord has promised to save us. What? Uh, How? Well, well, well uh, he told me to build an ark. A what? An ark. It's a very large um, house uh, with many floors and rooms that will float on top of the water, and we will all live in it. 
We're going to live in it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, and we're to bring two of every kind of animal, bird, and reptile. <laughs> well, that's what he said. We, we do believe you, Father. It's just difficult to understand. Yes. But we're the only ones. No one else will be saved. Only those found in the Ark of Safety will be saved. How do we even begin something like this? Well, we shall begin on our knees and seek the Lord for his wisdom. He is faithful. And with him, all things are possible. He will reveal and provide what we need as we need it. My heart already breaks for all those who will be lost and... I cannot believe the grace the Lord has shown us. I just can't take it all in. Lord, we worship you. And we give you honor and praise. whom she had borne to Abraham laughing. So she said to Abraham, Cast out this slave woman with her sons, for the son of this slave woman shall not be heir with my son Isaac. And God said to Abraham, Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you, for through Isaac shall your offspring be named. And I will make a nation of the son of the slave woman also, because he is your offspring. <laughs> Israel, what are you doing? He was crying. I was just taking care of Isaac. Don't you ever touch him again. Do you hear me? You left him alone. What is going on out here? Yes, what's the matter? Sarah, why are you correcting my son? Ishmael tried to kill Isaac. No, I didn't. He's not your responsibility. He is when it involves the life of my son. Please, please stop arguing. I'll go get Abraham. To Abraham, Not Ishmael's fault. Your son is rebellious. <gasps> what, what is it? Why are they arguing? Father, I'm always getting blamed for everything. Uh, Ishmael, who is blaming you? What have you done? All I did was hold Isaac. You held him over the well. What? Old woman, because you chose to use me, you have brought this on yourself! No more words from you! Please, <gasps> take Isaac inside. Now may we settle this peacefully. I'm wearied by that Egyptian woman and her son. Abraham, cast them out! Now Ishmael is also my son, Sarah. There is no longer any peace in this family because of them. This son of that slave woman will not share in the inheritance with Isaac. I won't have it. Now, Sarah, please. Ishmael will come to love Isaac. It will just take some time. Which of your sons is from God? And which of your sons is from her? I'm so sorry. She's just looking out for Isaac. No. She speaks what is in her heart, and I am not in it. But I care for you. You must know that. Maybe it is time for you to leave. Now, the Lord has told me 
that he will watch over you and Ishmael. You don't want me anymore? I'm so sorry, my boy, for the way things have come to be in your life. Now, it is not your fault. I, listen to me. I am not ashamed of you. I never was. Now, I have prayed for you, and I will continue to believe in you. God has given you great abilities to do many things. Now, you must use them to keep you and your mother safe. What will we do and where will we go? Ishmael needs a father. See, I would not send you out if I did not know it was of God. He has plans for you and Ishmael. He's told me that one day, Ishmael will also be a mighty nation. Trust in God. He will be a father to him and show you the way. Come, Ishmael. Oh, dear God, what have I done? After this, he loved the woman in the valley of Shorek. And the Philistines came and said to her, Seduce him and see where his great strength lies, and by what, what, by what means what we may bind him so that we may humble him and we'll each give you 1,100 pieces of silver. You don't know me, how I've crawled and fought and cried. Can't see the pain that's in my eyes. Begging someone help me fill my with nothing in attempt to feel alive still the darkness holds me here where the unlucky die just think of what this chance could buy me maybe delilah you can finally have freedom just to be to live the life I've always dreamed Solid ground for my feet Oh, freedom, I know it's not free It's like a lock and a key But it's all I ever wanted to be Dreams dressed up in silver they say I'll have a price. How foolish am I? Maybe they're right. Samson, he walked in and he could see through all my shame. His scars and mine the same. Could he save me? Just think of what his love could buy me. Maybe Delilah, you can find me have freedom just to be free. No more alone, a pair of arms to call home. Freedom, I know it's not free. It's like a lock and a key, but it's all I the need has been. Stop it now, can't think like this. My heart is not so kind. This trap, my life's the greatest sin. It's not his life for mine. I can kill this guilt I feel. Let hell or heaven see. Samson has his Hebrew God, but where is God for me?
solid ground at my feet oh freedom i know it's not free it's like a lock and a key but it's all i ever wanted freedom to do as i please to grab the dreams that i see where none on earth can citizens of Babylon give ear. King Darius proclaims the following decree. During the next 30 days, no one may pray, worship, nor bend their knee to any god or man except our lord and master, King Darius. Anyone who fails to conform to this royal decree will be without exception cast into a den of lions, signed and sealed by Darius, king of all lands. I've just seen Daniel praying. <laughs> your majesty, King Darius, your decree has been broken. What? Who would dare do such a thing? Even now, Daniel has been seen praying to his Hebrew God and direct defiance to your written command. He is guilty and must be punished. You lying viper. You have twisted the decree into a snare for my most faithful advisor? You scoundrel! You have defrauded me. I will change my mind! That's your majesty, the law! The law of the Medes and Persians forbids it! By your own seal, Daniel must be thrown into the den. He must die. You said you all agreed. This is treason! Clearly, Daniel did not decree to this. It is you who are the liars! It is you who should be meat for the lions. May Marduk destroy you all. On the contrary, it is Daniel who will be destroyed. The law is on our side. Persian justice will not be denied. A judge and jury all in one. Daniel's doom, oh what fun. What has happened here? The very worst I fear. I've stamped the parchment, it's too late. Now I've sealed Daniel's fate. Could you let this happen? Have you lost your mind? The words were in Chaldean. I couldn't read it, but I signed. Look in your pride has made this trouble. Now look what you have caused. Our old friend Daniel soon will be inside the lion's jaws. The Persian law is sound. There's no way to get around the sovereign words of a king. We must accept what this will bring. My soul is ripped in two. There must be something we can do. Daniel, tell me that your God can save. My life is in God's care. Don't let your mind despair. Take courage, friend. Do not be afraid. I'm in his hand. Can he help you? I'm in his will. Please tell me now. He's always helped me, and he'll help me still. 
My heart is pure. I defeat I've you. done no wrong. I've been a fool. God, my savior, I sing my song. With the spirit of him, our reign will now begin. This Hebrew thinking will destroy. The king's good favor will enjoy. What are you going to do? It all depends on you. If there's a way around this mess, I'll find it. I will do my best. From the time of my youth until now, I've never seen the godly forsaken. I am in your will. I am in your will. What will you do? You've always helped me, and you'll help me still. You want our justice? My heart is pure. God is upon me. My hope is strong. God is so My God, I praise you with a faithful soul. The time has come. The time has come. Daniel to the bed.
35 years, Sight and Sound has been bringing the Bible to life on stage. Our greatest reward is sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with our audiences through the life-changing hope and inspiration found in the message of Jesus Christ. This is the heart of all of our stories. So on behalf of the Sight and Sound Conservatory, we would like to thank you for joining us for these fictional accounts of factual occurrences. Sight and Sound Theaters, where the Bible comes to life. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. Tremendous. Love these kids, huh? Isn't that awesome? Hey, but before we say goodnight tonight, we just wanted to share some exciting news with you tonight. Uh, our treasurer on the conservatory, uh, Mr. Tony Smith, is here with me. But, um, you know, this is the second year, and it's just been tremendous. Um, and some really cool things have been happening. So, Tony... Could you just share a little bit about some of the things that happened this year and, and what's going on? Sure, Jeff. Um, just wanted to share some exciting news with everyone. We've been working over the past two or three years to um, uh, get the conservatory to be able to be a not-for-profit uh, 501c3 organization. We just found out about two months ago that we were approved. And uh, so really excited about that and what we are, are passionate about um, those of us that are involved with the conservatory and all everyone here we just are really passionate about seeing the next generation of actors and uh, performers to really make an impact for the world and what you just saw on stage is a great example of that and so we just want to give everyone a chance if you uh, enjoy the performance tonight we will have some baskets right off uh, as you're on, going out in the exits and uh, if you want to uh, again make a donation there uh, that would be tax deductible if you want to make a check to Sight and Sound Conservatory, that's exciting. Um, but we, are, we hope to actually be using a lot of those funds to help students that are, would like to come next year. Uh, we had actually some students that we really liked and wanted to uh, have them come even this year and needed some financial assistance. We weren't able to do that, but this would be a great opportunity to help us do that better. And we're just so excited to um, be a part of this. And uh, again, we just want to thank you and for making this night a special night for everyone. Thank you, Jeff. Fantastic. All right. So you can bring the, bring the lights up if you want then, Derek. And thank you again so much for coming and being such a wonderful audience and supporting these young people so much. Mwah! Thank you so much. Good night. Thanks.